Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to add a custom footer to a Word document using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This workflow is very similar to another walkthrough we did recently on creating custom headers. Before we get started, please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We will begin by creating a manually triggered instant cloud flow so we can have full control over our data. We will first add a get file content action to our flow and retrieve a Word document. I'll be using the same document I already added a custom header to in the other video I mentioned. We will now add a new action and search for Cloudmersive connectors. We will scroll down the list of Cloudmersive connectors until we find the document conversion connector. And we will then click see more to view the actions list. From here, we will search for an action called set the footer in a Word docx document, and we will select that action once we find it. Before we configure our request, we will first need to create our connection with a Cloudmersive API key. I'm using a free API key with 800 API calls per month and no commitments, and you can do the same by creating a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Once our connection is authorized, we will click show all to view our request parameters. The two parameters we're primarily concerned with are the paragraphs parameter and the sections with footer parameter. The paragraphs parameter is where we'll add and customize our footer text, and the sections with footer parameter is where we'll decide which page to start adding footers on. We will ignore the path parameter here, but we could use this to add footers based on a path to a specific location in our document. To customize our footer, we will click Add New Item in the Paragraph parameter, and then we will click Add New Item again in the Content Runs parameter. We will find a variety of options here to customize our text, and we will add our actual text run by clicking Add New Item in the Text Items field. Here, we can write in our footer as a regular string, and we can then stylize our text using the optional fields above. I will make my footer bold and set the size to 24, but I won't change anything else in my example. Next up, we will move down to the sections with footer parameter and add a new item. We will then add a new item again in the starting page numbers field, and we will specify the page number our footers start on by adding a number in here. I will ask my footers to start on page one. Now that we've created our footer and selected our starting page, we will add our Word document file bytes in the input file bytes parameter. If you've used Cloudmersive document conversion connectors before, you might be aware that the action we just configured will give us back a temporary editing URL version of our document. This URL allows us to chain edits together at high speed in our flow. We won't be chaining any edits together here, but we will add in one additional Cloudmersive action that downloads the modified Word document file bytes we need from that URL. This action is called Finish Editing Document and Download Result. In the final step of our flow, we will simply use a create file action to write the output content from the finish editing action to a new docx file in our system. After we finish creating our file, we will save and test our flow. When our flow finishes running, we will find our modified file in the folder we specified, and we can review its contents to make sure our footer appears as we want it to. Like I mentioned earlier, my document contains a header I created in a prior video, so I now have headers and footers set for my example document. And that's all there is to it. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact any member of our team.